Hi everyone, this is CY once again. Thanks for joining me today. Um, I have done in the previous two videos regarding the um, the, the DS64 um, bellow system whereby it produces significantly uh, a lot of fine for the SSP Casper. And uh, for the two videos that I have I've done, um, the extra fine powder that was actually bellowed out from the DS64 bellow system actually produces a lot of inconsistency in, as, as, in the extraction of coffee as, in the espresso. So, um, and that is actually pertaining to the SSD Casper. So today I'm going to use my customer's machine, right? Uh, I've just repaired this machine uh, because the, uh, the grinder um, collar, the adjustment collar is actually jammed because of cross-treading. Uh, we have managed to re um, repair it and then now um, before we return the machine back to the customer uh, I would like to show you the, um, the, the, the bellowing for the stopper does it actually matter with the stopper uh, before I move on to the SSP high uniformity right so that's what we're going to do today um, the plan is very simple I'm just going to pull a few shots and then I'm just going to do uh, the preparation of the um, the part preparation will be the same uh, will be a simple um, WDT um, then um, I will be pulling one shot okay let's do it this way the first shots I will not do any WDT uh, WDT uh, I will just uh, dose directly to the polar filter right for every single shot here I'm going to dose directly to the polar filter I'm not, I'm not going to use the dosing cup uh, because I find that the uh, if I dose directly to the polar filter I don't really need to do WDT that often because usually when I transfer the uh, coffee ground to the dosing cup it actually ends up being compacted and then um, yeah and usually when I transfer I will see clumps of coffee here and there right so that's something I want to avoid and also um, I want to see if I dose directly to the polar filter and um, and if I don't bellow right does it mean that uh, will I be able to get a better extraction versus if I uh, dose already to the polar filter and do a WDT and I bellow and then um, probably going to do about two to three shots maybe up to four to compare the differences between um, um, the various factors we have, which I have mentioned just now so without further ado, uh, without further ado let's get into the uh, dialing of the coffee Right, so to avoid the um, bellowing, so um, let's do uh, 17 gram shots. So for the first one, uh, we are not going to use, we're going to dose slightly more so that uh, um, we will get, uh, uh, we will not have to bellow, resort to bellowing to get all the coffee ground out. And I uh, will dose 18 grams of coffee. And then, uh, and, and in exchange, I'll try to get 70 grams out. So if there's any extra, I'll just scoop it out. And I will not be bellowing um, on the first shot. So for today, I'm again going to use our Yunnan red wine coffee. Right, so this is roasted on the 13th of August, which is perfect. So I will be dosing 18 grams. Okay, I have already measured 18 grams and right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure my portal filter uh, sort of zero out right so that I will know exactly how much am I grinding okay so later I'll remember I'll have to remove the dosing, uh, uh, dosing ring Seventeen point three. So let's take out a little bit of coffee. Seventeen 
Right, so that's exactly 17 gram. And uh, currently I'm using the stock Etamil and grind setting is at 9. So I will not be doing any uh, WDT. I'll just be doing a simple sort of uh, use my finger to to sort of fill up every corner. Uh, so that and then I'll try to knock it down and then use my um, distributor right to do a simple distribution and then use my um, level temper to temp it down right so the pop prep is pretty simple right and let's move over to the Lely Bianca for the extraction Right, so now flow control is set into the middle. So let's pull a shot and see how it goes. I will not adjust the flow control, I'll keep it at the middle. Right, so um so that this will not be a factor affecting the extraction. Right about 26 seconds, I'm getting about 38 grams, so it's slightly more than 1 is to 2 ratio. Right, so let's set this aside and then uh, we'll move on to pull the second shots uh, to compare the extraction. So the extraction looks pretty good. And before we move on to the second shot, we have to remember to actually bellow out uh, all the coffee so that there will not be any coffee that's remaining behind. So let's turn on the grinder. Right, about 0.7 grams of uh, coffee. Just now, remember, I get about 17.3 and I dose about 18 grams. So that's pretty much zero retention if I really bellow hard. Right, so now let's measure 18 grams again. For this time, sorry, I'm going to measure 17 grams exactly. Okay, 17.1 gram. Right, so the grind setting is the same. I'm going to zero my uh, portal filter. And this time I'm going to battle hard. Right, so everything is, I try to bellow as much as I can. So now you can see, right, there's a layer of fine coffee powder that's laying on top. Okay, let's try to uh, measure it. 16.8, so there's still, okay, 16.9. So let me bellow a little bit harder.
Okay, 16.8, there's a 0 0.2 grams of retention. And by the way, my customer is using the actual Mythos uh, declumper, right? This is not the version 2 of the declumper which I've designed. So uh, the retention, it is about 0.2 to 0.1 grams, which is still pretty decent. Right, so now let's move on to the pulp preparation. So doing the same, I will try to, you know, level everything so that it covers all the uh, holes so every corner is covered with coffee right before i do a knockdown then i will just distribute and then do a time down okay now let's move over to the extraction okay let me get another shot glass Right, same thing, I will not be uh, adjusting the flow control, right? So let me just pull a shot straight. Okay, about 26 seconds. I have yielded about 41.3 gram. Right, uh, the result is very similar to what we have done in the SSP Casper. Right, as you can see that uh, we always extract more with the fine coffee. We always tend to extract more with uh, fine coffee powder on top, and this has been the same for the SSP Casper as well. So if I bellow hard, usually we will have uh, uneven extraction and uh, we will extract more as compared to with uh, without bellowing. So, um, yep, so this is actually showing signs of uh, uneven extraction and uh, resulting in a faster flow. Right, let's dose the last batch of coffee. And same thing, I'm going to dose 17 grams and I'm going to bellow hard. But the only difference between this and the previous shot is I will be doing WDT. Uh, I will try to um, WDT the during the part preparation, right? Seventeen point one grams. So let me get my WDT tools here. Right, let's put it inside. Exactly same grind size, a, a nice setting. Right, and let's grind directly into our power filter. Ah, I forgot to zero out my um, photo filter. Okay, but I think the retention is usually about 0.1 to 0.2 gram on this grinder. So I can safely say that uh, I should be getting about 17 gram to maybe 16.9 to 17 grams of coffee from here. Right, so now the difference now is I will be doing a WDT. Right, this will mix up all the fine coffee powder with the coarse, coarser coffee powder. Uh, remember, we bellow out the uh, at the final stage. So the super fine coffee powder initially is at the top. Now I'm mixing it with uh, WDT, right? Hoping to you know to mix it so that the fine coffee powder will not just be at the top. Simple distribution. Tamp it down. 
right and let's move over to the extraction right same thing the flow control is still at the center And as you can see, at about 26 seconds, we are pulling at about 48 grams of coffee. This is actually significantly more than our second extraction, which is about 41 grams, and versus the first one, which is uh, yielding about 38 grams in 26 seconds. So right, so now let's try the coffee and uh, see the quality of the extraction. But before that, let me get a cup of water so that I can rinse my palate. Uh, by the way, thanks for joining me. If you have uh, watched until this moment, right, that means you are really supporting my channel and I thank you for that. Uh, I know my video content uh, don't really get a lot of views, um, but I'm just sharing my experience right, with uh, uh, no, fellow coffee lovers and uh, fellow DF64 users. And uh, I really want to find out um, how to make the best cup of coffee from the DF64 right um with different kind of machines so far we have tested it on the ascaso steel duo pid i've also tested it on the uh, bianca and uh, I, I i will run different machines to see whether you know it gives us the same consistent results so that means this is actually not machine dependent but rather it's grinder dependent and uh, in this case particularly the ds64 with the bellow right so is bellowing really a best solution to be zero retention and and, and that is the question I'm, I'm, I'm asking myself when I do this experiment, right? So now without further ado, let's test the coffee. Right, let's taste the first shot. Right, cheers. Very fruity, no bitterness at all. A very balanced shot. Um, a certain amount of complexity, uh, a little bit of muddiness. I think that's because we are using the uh, Etamil. I tend to get slightly sweeter cup on my SSB Casper, but on this cup, uh, the sweetness level has uh, decreased a little bit, but um, and the taste a little bit more muddy as compared to my SSB Casper. Right. So now let's move on to the second cup. Okay. Before that, let me rinse my palate. As you can remember, the second shot was extracted with the grinder uh, being bellowed uh, out. So everything is actually bellowed, including the fine coffee powder. The coffee tastes really acidic uh, and uh, has a hint of bitterness at the back. And this is definitely caused by the uneven extractions. So from the sweet shot, now it has become uh, acidic. It is still a bearable acidic, but then uh, uh, the acidity has taken over uh, the sweetness and the bitterness is right at the back. So uh, it is not a, exactly a very pleasant shot. Right, so now let's move on to taste the third one. The second one has bitterness at the back, right? So let's rinse my palate. Right, that's the third shot whereby I do WDT. Wow, the acidity level is even higher. Yeah, it's not pleasant. The bitterness level has increased even further. Ah, this is this is not 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 good for drinking, right? Yeah, so from good, it becomes not so good, and it becomes bad, right? So um, uh, again, this is by no means a conclusive test. Uh, I, I really want to hear from you. What do you think about this? 
Um, have you tried to uh, pull shots without bellowing? Um, for me, I think I will stop bellowing from now onwards because I'm getting really bad shots um, from bellowing. So now I realize that by skipping the bellow part, I can actually get a much better extraction, much the, the, the kind of a sweetness that I want and the uh, and I the, the, the bitterness at the back is something that I do not want to extract. So uh, I think my conclusion, right, um, I think bellowing is not really for, it's, it's, it's really producing uh, the super fine powder, right, which is actually affecting your extraction. And in this case, it's under extractions. And um, over extractions at certain region and under extraction at certain region, which means uh, you will get uneven extraction and therefore um, from a sweet cup, it becomes sour and bitter, right? And that's really something that's not pleasant to drink, right? So um, let me finish the first shot because the first shot is good, right? Cheers. Mm. This is so much sweeter and without bitterness at all, right? Ah, this is a good shot, right? Even though it has um, a little bit of muddiness because of the Ita meal, uh, and and the uh, sweetness is not as high as my um, SSP Casper, but it is still a very pleasant shot, even with the stock burp, as long as you don't bellow. So my um, conclusion for the so far, I can actually draw a conclusion. WDD does not help in um, controlling the uneven extraction, right? I think WDD is only helping to declump. And uh, because when you grind too fine, um, coffee powder tend to clump together. And especially Eureka Mignon series, the kind of grinder, they always produce very, very bolder, boulders of coffee powder, right? And you need to break this powder up. And therefore, it's WDD. But other than that, um, uh, if you dose directly from the DF64 into the powder filter, you can see that I do not need to do WDT at all. The coffee is as fluffy as you can get. So um, let me know in the comment section down below, right? Uh, give it a try. Uh, to pull a shot with, without bellowing, right? Uh, keep the dose the same, 70 grams all the, all the time. Um, do a shot without bellowing, getting 70 grams out. Pull another shot by dosing 70 grams in and bellow everything out. Get Try to get as close to 17 grams as possible. For you, it can be 18 grams, 90 grams, and 20 grams, doesn't matter. But the things that we are trying to achieve here is consistency, right? So that these, are, these will not be the factors affecting our extractions that cause the, uh, the result to be unfair, right? And um, the third shot, you can try to bellow as high as you can, then you do WTT. You give it a test, taste test on the three shots and Maybe next one we can do a blind test, right? Uh, to see whether I'm actually getting, uh, I can actually taste the difference between a shot, right? So it will be interesting. So maybe the next episode I'll run a blind test on the uh, SSP Itamil. Uh, no, sorry, not SSP. The stock Itamil burr and see whether I can pick up the uh, the differences between the uh, extractions, right? So thanks for joining me today. This is you once again. Uh, it's great having you uh, to join us and. Uh, um, do subscribe to my channel and like my videos and then um, remember to ring the bell if you want to stay updated with our content so that you will not miss a single one uh, when we launch it right so thank you once again right i will see you very soon and stay safe